A few money saving tips for making herb tea. If you can, go out and forage. Obviously do your own research and learn what you're doing. But I've got some hawthorn berries there, some sage, some mint that I've grown, some peppermint and some lemon balm. And these are all obviously old milk cartons that I've just dried out. They're very, they're very useful for keeping dried herbs in. I've got some hawthorn berries there that I'm, I've just picked. When I've finished with the oven and I've turned the oven off, I just pop them in the bo bottom of the oven and let them dry out. Those are some that are almost done and this is what they look like when they're dry. Obviously do your own research though. And I know a lot of people use French presses or these lovely glass herb tea um, infusers. But I actually like my herb tea to be infused quite a lot. So what I do in here, I've got some Twinings red bush tea that I actually got reduced. So I've got some Twinings tea in there. You can just see it's all on the top because I've had one cup already. Um, and some hawthorn berries. And so I'll just pop some more water in here. Because this is what I tend to do. I'll have one cup, then I'll refill it. I'll have another cup. This is very useful because it's got a it's got a lip on it. So it does strain it to a certain degree. So I might have one or, one or two cups when I'm at home with an old fashioned tea strainer. But if you do it in a flask, you really do get a stronger brew. You can't do it with ordinary tea because it tends to stew but herb teas and I'll keep filling the flask up uh, maybe once more and then I'll strain that off and pop it in another flask not a big one like this but a smaller one and take it out with me. So that's just one money saving tip when it comes to making herb teas. Tip number two. I cannot tell you how many of those glass French presses I've bought over the years. It got to the stage where I was breaking them quite regularly, even though I was buying them from charity shops. I thought this just isn't cost effective. This one was £20. Obviously it's metal. Double, double um, thickness I think. £20 from Tesco's and I had a voucher if I spent £20 I got £3 off so I actually got it for £17 and I've had it for years. Very robust obviously and I've got one of these that I got, I've had one of these for years as well. So this is a little pot warmer that's got a tea light inside. I'll just show you. I don't know if you can see it. There we are. It's actually lit at the moment. So this is really useful for keeping your coffee warm. And if you can't find one of those, you could always see what you've got around the house. This is a roasting tin that actually comes with a rack so you could pop a tea light in there and use your rack and pop your pot on there and keep it warm then again you could do it the old fashioned way with your teapots as well and knit yourself a nice little pot warmer and keep your coffee warm or your tea that way. Tip number three. When you've finished your coffee, there's always a little bit left in the bottom with the coffee grounds. 
Well, rather than throwing those away, just add a few more coffee grounds to it, fresh ones, maybe half a scoop. Fill it up maybe halfway with water, milk if you take it, uh, and your tea light so that it keeps it nice and warm. And when that's infused for a minute or two, pop that in a flask and take that out. You've not used a full scoop of coffee. You've, you've made use of what's left in the bottom. You've added a few fresh coffee grounds to it to freshen it up. But then you've got a cup of coffee to take out with you. And you don't have to buy one. And when you finish with the water in the kettle, if there's some left in the bottom of there, we don't want it to be boiling. So if it has boiled or just boiled and there's some left, don't throw it away. Add a little bit of cool water to it and then you can do this. At this time of year, I always have a hot water bottle handy. And as I say, don't pour it in boiling. It won't do the hot water bottle any good. Three quarters fill it, half to three quarters. You never fill them all the way up. But don't throw the hot water away. If you're not going to use it, either fill a hot water bottle, and you can pop it, this is just a small one, you can pop it at the side of you in your chair. Heat you rather than the house or the room. Make sure the lid's quite secure. Give it a wipe. There we are. Take care, people.